I filmed an insane video with that tribe that Liver King was talking about earlier today. He got most of it 100% right. I love that everyone has been talking about how that tribe's life expectancy is 34 years old, but leave it up to anarchists in the chat, Cinemarxism, who's like, nah, dog, everything that the guy, uh, Liver King said about the tribe was true, except for the one main fundamental point, which was that they live healthier and happier lives. They might have happier lives, but I don't think they have healthier lives, dog. Look at this. I can't see. I'm being shocked. What is going? What, the hell? what, the hell what is going on? This is goat sushi. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I have to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> the Maasai tribe of Kenya. Their diet consists almost exclusively of animal products. You want to test? Sure. 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 Wait, yeah. Some of them are filthy rich, but live in houses made from cow dung. The Maasai houses are made of cow dung. And every few months, they move to fresh grazing fields and rebuild all over again. Their way of life wouldn't work if it were anywhere else in the world. But in this part of... Oh, I'm going to be honest with you, like... What anarchist that defended his tribe exactly? Cinemarxism is an anarchist filmmaker in the chat constantly fucking crying about uh, how the DSA, the DSA Los Angeles uh, candidates are all, they love cops and whatever. And I mean, he's a good filmmaker from what I've seen, from all I've seen. We watched some of his stuff here, but just can't stop himself uh, usually as anarchists are known to not be able to. Africa, in this part of Kenya, somehow it all makes sense. The kidney belong to the children and the intestines belong to the women. They are divided into every part. Over this two video series, we're digging deep into the Maasai culture, how they live, and most important to me, how they eat. Turns out it's harder than it looks. From their seemingly bizarre daily food rituals. This is raw, this just came out of the goat. Mm. Just eat it. Mm. You guys ate it already? Yeah. All the way to cow bleeding. Think of it like cow milking, but for blood. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Right now, Kenyan native Wendy and I are leaving Nairobi and heading toward Amboseli, one of the country's largest yes. national parks, overlapping hundreds of miles of Maasai cattle grazing land. But first, breakfast. Today we are headed from Nairobi to Amboseli. In Amboseli, there's a special treat. We are gonna meet some people there who are gonna cook up a goat. The goat has this board here, cut from a jug. And then what does that do? When the goat tries to mount a lady, uh, he's gonna be blocked, so he can't get any action. That's goat contraception. But first, we've come to this small village. So we're heading towards Namanga. This is closer to the Tanzanian border. So we have a lot of like Tanzanian migrants that have come and settled here because of intermarriage and trade. And for the record, like, for every tribe that is, like, eating exclusively fucking meat, a, a diet of meat, there's, like, 12 that eat no meat whatsoever. Because meat oftentimes is hard to come by. So, understand, it's actually infinitely harder to have a consistent supply of meat, especially if you're hunting, than to literally fucking have uh, berries and, and other shit that you gather. So, remember that. When we're talking about, like, primal history or whatever, uh, a lot of those people didn't have a steady supply of meat. And the part that uh, Liver King was completely correct on is that, yeah, sometimes they would go fucking, uh, they, would, they would fast for oh, five man. days when they okay. didn't have food. Or sometimes it would take five days to hunt an animal down because you didn't, like, hunt an animal and kill him with a, with a gun. You would oftentimes have to wear the animal down. You would fucking graze it, hit it, let it fucking bleed out. It, it took a long-ass time. And then you have to carry awesome. that shit back. That is part of the reason, like, human beings were, were apex predators because of our endurance and because of uh, how long we could go and how fast we could go relatively, but definitely for how long we could do it for, okay? We were endurance hunters. Everybody knows that at this point. We knew how to use tools, also, I can okay? Her. And we used it to our advantage, but that doesn't mean that, like, everybody had, uh, you know, cows everywhere that we were grazing and shit so we could just always have meat readily available things like that so before it was our heat management yes yeah, sweating is op as fuck you don't have to <laughs> breathe out of your mouth to regulate your temperature before we go to ambaselli we're going to check out life in the village born. grab some breakfast and maybe even try out some narcotics wait what yeah there, there is a drug that we're going to try not a joke let's go <laughs> so we're heading to do some drugs Okay, great. <laughs> but what do you actually call it locally? Uh, so it's called Mira or Mogoka. It's just cut. It's just a... 
Meat is often opportunistic than a consistent part of people's diet in a lot of tribal communities would be a slightly more accurate statement. As an anthropologist, shut up, nerd, but you are correct. You are the correct nerd in this circumstance. Yes. Stimulant. And this is over the counter. Yeah, it's sold everywhere. Hi. To Tapata Mira. Oh, they have Mogoka. Give us some. Jeez. Oh, so yeah, can I please have four bags? bags? It's like, how high do you want to get? <laughs> so it makes you high? No, it just makes you euphoric and very excited. It's almost like dropping acid. Cut is a stimulant often used by long haul truckers. Let's see if this stuff making messes fun of me for up. For no reason? Uh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, it's a loving making fun of, okay? I'm doing it in a loving fashion. Shut up, you fucking nerd. It's very bitter. It is so bitter. Almost like an aspirin. I think I feel something. Do you? No. How much do I need to feel it? You what? need to finish this whole bag for you to feel it. I don't even eat salad to be healthy. <laughs> I'm not going to eat a salad to be high. <laughs> much like Kenyan home cooking. Just four tables outside with benches. So that's like the chef and the sous chef. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, just giving instructions. How long have you been running this hotel? Three years. This is a fairly typical family-run village restaurant, known locally as a hotel. Okay, so what should we get? Maybe try some githeri. It's just mixed maize and bins. Their specialty, breakfast, including gitari, mandazi, Swahili fried... Ooh! bread and cabbage known locally as cabbage is called just cabbage Gidari. it's just a mixture of beans and maize it's one oh, kind it's of maize. bean it's corn it's yeah. beans and corn beans and corn just boiled for like three hours that looks kind of good that looks kind of good the cabbage no no to the cabbage yes to the beans yes to the fucking uh uh the the fried dough thing all right let's go for it mm, hearty very hearty, yeah. That kind of corn, plump, chewy, like hearty corn. I think that's enough description. It's beans and corn. <laughs> you guys, you get it, right? Maize easily grows here. Sandal. So either you'll grind it and make ugali, or you make githeri. On the side, cabbage, and the cabbage was fried. I mean, with, with all this fiber and the beans, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be a good afternoon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, that is a cow that I see. There's a lot of free roaming animals in this village. I like it. Bam, beans on top, corn, with my maize, dad. cabbage, bread. I like that. Mm, one of my favorite. Guys, this isn't the tribe. This is just like regular Kenyan people, okay? What the fuck? No, he hasn't gone to the tribe yet. Hassle. This is just like normal food in Kenya. Chat's like, what? I thought they didn't never ate beans. What, what the fuck? Yeah, these aren't... This isn't the tribal food, chat. Milk combination is chapati and beans. This is like really close to that. Perfect. Hearty breakfast. From here, we are hitting the road. We're going to find... That's a wild breakfast, though. My comprehension of breakfast... My understanding of breakfast is so fundamentally flawed from like a Western-focused diet, or rather a Turkish diet as well, that like whenever I see shit that you would normally eat at dinner being eaten on breakfast, I'm like, no shot. Beans? Like... I mean, these motherfuckers are having beans on toast, bro. They're having beans on fucking toast, mate! What the fuck is going on in Kenya? Find some goats. right in front of a Maasai village. Thank you for having us today. You're welcome. Jacob, a community elder, will be showing me around today. I want to talk about your outfit, particularly your shoes. Is that made from a tire? Yes. You made these? Yes. Basically, you created a strap here, two straps in the front. It stays oh, on bottom. easily. Yeah. It looks cool. Thank you. There are over 800,000 Maasai in Kenya. For hundreds That's of fire. years, they've been living peacefully alongside big game animals and surviving off the consumption of cattle like cows, go. goats, JDPT sheep, and donkeys. Sorry guys, we don't have any shots of a donkey. 
in this village is around 56 people living, but uh, there's no good pasture, so we normally move with the cattle. What is the longest time you stay in one place? Two to three months. And by then, the animals hungry. have eaten most of the greens? Yes. Harsh sun and weak soil leaves little chance for agriculture. Rather, their nomadic lifestyle means they move from place to place in search of fertile feeding ground for their cattle. What animals are you worried about the most? Lion. Lions will attack the goats, the yes. cows. Yes. That's just easy for them, right? Because I saw a gazelle on the way here. Yeah. Those are fast. Yeah, they're fast. Goats aren't that fast. They are not fast. If you don't fence your homestead properly, they can break and get in. The architecture of a Maasai village is rather genius. Precious and valuable livestock. That's pretty fucking cool, dude. Holy shit. That's cool as fuck, actually. Must be in the center. Surrounded by a... It's like super easy to build, super easy to break down barrier made from thorny branches. These smaller stalls can be used to separate animals or newborns. Surrounded with houses, framed with wood and covered in cow dung. On the roof, these are grass. The houses are built by women. And the house took three weeks to be built. The inside maintains a constant temperature during the hot days and cool nights. Then the outside barrier, made also with thorny branches. So if a lion wants to steal a goat, which is a problem very few of us ever think about, then the lion must leap over two walls, grab the goat and leap out while not being attacked by these guys, the village warriors. Have you had a lion come into this one? Yes, once. We call just a man and we make this scream and the lion get out, get out of the village. Oof, Please well, do there's no lions today, skeptical. right? There's no lions. Okay, good. <laughs> Today, we're about to enter. Yeah. I noticed there's a lot of people waiting for us. Yeah. Hi. Entering. Yo, I, I have to point this out. They're drippy as fuck, dude. Okay? Straight up. No, no, uh, no, tri no orientalism here. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. But goddamn, are they fucking dripped out the wazoo, dude. Look at the colors. Holy shit. Holy fuck, dude. Can you can you dance? This is giving Justin Trudeau a little bit. I'll just say it. We're going to have a prayer, and someone is going to lead us with a prayer. Nine. 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 Still not brain rotted yet. Nine. 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 Okay. Thank. Thank you. Asholing. You say Ashe Oleng. You say Ashe Oleng in Maasai. Ashe Oleng! Greetings complete. Time for lunch. On the menu today and almost every day, goat. We go outside of the village to yes. slaughter the goat. Yes. And no women, no kids. No women, no kids. Slaughtering and eating occurs about 300 meters outside the village walls. These young warriors are not allowed to eat food seen by women. There's a, there's a woman right there. Mm -hmm. The only woman. Mm -hmm. It's okay because he's our guest. So everyone's just gonna slaughter, cook, mm -hmm. eat right yes. in this little area, yes. 300 meters from the village, yeah. and then bring back the food for the ladies. Yes. But if men are far off cooking, what's to stop them from eating all the meat, you might ask? We have some piece face. of meat here, which belongs to women, huh. and some meat here belongs to boys. So everything is divided into everyone. Is there a We need Matt Walsh to come in and be like, oh, the, what is a woman? Is this the tribe that Matt Walsh went to to be like, what is a woman? 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 Please tell me. Oh my God, please, please. I haven't felt the touch of a woman in so long. Peace for sunburnt white guys? Yes. Okay, great. Yes, yes. Is it the balls? Yes. Yeah, I thought it might be. No, no, no. What part is for the guest? So they're taking the blood. You know, that's where we get iron from. The, the goats oh, are. He's doing it right now? Bro, this shit gonna make me fucking... Yo, I swear, this shit's gonna make me vegan, dog. Holy fuck. 
Tai ner do original. You want to test it? Baby what? Four months old. Huh? what is baby? You happening? want to test? Do you want to test? Sure. Sure. Oh! Wait, yeah. Bro, he's eating that shit up. Woo! God damn! Is there a right way to do this? Yeah. No, just anyhow. Did you <laughs> yeah. did you sip your river? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Delicious. It literally is the tribe law. The life expectancy of this area is extremely low. I wonder why. I don't think it's just diet. I mean, they're braving the fucking elements in Kenya, right? So that's a little bit different than even braving the elements in like Los Angeles, right? But braving the elements in general is like gonna Jordan fucking uh, wear on you. So that's why I'm saying like they do live the liver king lifestyle. But of course, when you live the liver king lifestyle... And you have no fucking medical access whatsoever. You have no medical care whatsoever. Yeah, you're going to get knocked out at the age of fucking 20. How many of these How dudes are surviving past working? 60? How many? Yes. <laughs> wow. How do you find it? <laughs> milky. Yeah, it's milky. A bit salty. Yeah, it's salty. You want to, that is where we get iron from. I'm pretty full, man. Yeah. I'll take it more later. Oh, wow, he's eating big chunks of it. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't want to be rude. Just a little bit more. You eat it? You eat it? Yeah, yeah. Read the comments of this video. They're wild. And that is the very first, the very first part that a lion starts after he killed a cow. And that, and that is why the lion is very strong. I mean, that's exactly what Liver King said. 15 months. Ladies are missing out on this, huh? I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Like, I don't think I would take these. I just, I don't think I would trust these guys' word. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I'm wrong. But, like, I feel like I would go with the scientists over... What these dudes are saying about like, well, the lion goes Thank to the fucking liver awesome first. You know what I mean? Oh, it's good. No, it's good. It's good stuff. My compliments to the chef. They are making it, diluting it with the herb. He's a warrior. When the lion attacked our animal, there are the people in charge to kill the lion. You see now, it's the, the blood is diluted, so it is uh, good for drinking. Hello. <laughs> These are the two special wood, the acacia and cedar, that we use to make the fire. We normally use donkey dung because of the little fiber that they have. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> it's starting! It's carrying the fire. <laughs> you gotta be quick with that, man. Yeah, the fire. So you've come in contact with different Maasai people before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does this compare to any of that? This is even like anything even I've witnessed. And you know what they said earlier? This is the first time in this village that they're even showing this to visitors. You know, I heard about the separation of like, oh, this parts are for the men, this parts are for the women. I mean, you drank the blood. I think I'm okay with the leg. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. By this point, guys, my man, the warrior, has eaten a five-course meal of raw goat. That part belonged to the people who have slaughtered. The back belonged to the lady that the goat belonged to. A pregnant woman get this to make soup for her herself. This one goes to the old man. The other leg belonged to the young man. The chest Hope your day is going belong well. to the boys who are looking after the sheep. The ribs belong to the chief and uh, the other one belong to the owner of the goat. So we subdivide into every every part. Is there any part that nobody eats? Yeah, we have like the eyeballs. It's only maybe the dog or the hyena. Are there hyenas out here? Yes, they must come here tonight. It just seems like a almost a practical way yeah. to not have fighting. Uh, There's one about animal who gets for what, so yeah. many people. So how do you make that fair? Pregnant, you're getting this. If you're like an elder, you're getting this. Hey, look, he's doing some good work over here. This is the ribs. Is this the man ribs or the woman ribs? Oh, so this is for the women. No one here is allowed to eat it. They seem to have a communal view on resources. Oh, that's crazy. You mean to tell me that they're not... <coughs> <coughs> you mean to tell me that they're not operating on, like, uh, you know, who, who took the biggest risk <laughs> by purchasing the goat and investing into it? No, of course they have a communal view. That's why I said this is a feudal system based on family hierarchies. 
I mean, this is like, this is not uh, a full blown primitive accumulation, obviously, but it doesn't have like a profit system in the same way that you have uh, under capitalism. Fat from the stomach. What is going? What is going on? This is goat sushi. Fools. I'm not. I have to draw a line somewhere. That's the goat fat. Are you just doing it for the camera at this point? This is a fat. You want to have a little? Yeah. Just a little. You eat it raw. Yeah. Okay. Um. That one's one is parasocial. So far. This is fat. It's just some fat. It's just some fat. Sometimes we, we eat the heart. Sometimes you eat the heart raw? Yeah. Oh, that's badass. That's kind of cool. Look at that. That's the kidney? Yeah, that's the kidney. You need to eat the kidney? But the kidney is for the kid? Yeah, this one is yours. Yeah, we are not. This is mine. Hold on. What is going on? It's a kidney. The men are sharing the kidney. So let's eat. This is raw. This just came out of the goat. Mm. Raw kidney. Mm. Just eat it. Mm. You guys ate it already? Yeah. Bro, what? What the a fuck? YouTube My man is way Twitch too white and way too western to be just like YouTube hitting raw ass. kidney from the fucking tummy of a goat. He is going to. No wonder Liver King shit his fucking pants. Like non stop. Delicious. It's so good. <laughs> That was great. Great. How do you feel? How do you feel the test? Man, it's just very intense. Yeah. Turns out cooking it yeah. does wonders. Whatever organy kind of flavor you've experienced, that is like times a thousand. Salty. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, I like, really like. It. Is that safe? Very safe. Oh, I want to throw up a little bit. No. No, don't. Mm, no. Okay, because I'm a warrior. Yeah. I'm a warrior. Yeah. This is a lot of new stuff. Yeah. Like in within five minutes, man. Yes. Yes. Okay. <sighs> They're smoking meats like Mark Zuckerberg. The parts of meat are ready, so we are going to, to add those old men and have the liver. What age do you get to start eating this? When you are uh, like uh, 28 years old. Does that mean everybody <laughs> under... He said old men. He said this is the for the old men. And the guy... And Sonny said, what age do you start eating this? He said, hey, you know, 28. So shut the fuck up about like how, how uh, you know, how healthy these homies are. Only two places on the planet where 28 is considered old. Twitch chat and fucking this tribe, okay? 28 has never tasted this. Yes. They must think it's like the coolest thing ever. Yeah. The forbidden liver. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Let's go. All right, let's try it out. 19 months. There's some kind of sharp, mm -hmm. astringent taste to it. It's almost like bitter. Yeah. They see just go in a circle. Yes. And then you get a bite, you get a yeah. bite. Yeah. Again. Yes. Yeah, this is the sweet taste. <laughs> it's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's raw. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Do you eat every food like this style? Yes. Oh my God. We say everything. I love it. Yeah. It's all about fairness. It's literally the only way you could feed this many people is by having this kind of cooperation. You go around the circle, it's like a, the puff puff pass of goat meat. Wanna be Super fair, mailman. no one can complain. Wanna be I love it. Wanna be underscore mailman dot you guys, twitch dot TV the lunch Hashtag is ready. Tare na rogi, get no. Can you set it to vibrate? Our lunch is ready, so we're gonna go have this meat. And some of these pieces we will take to the village and share, the women Has share it. together. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Right from the ribs. Look at this cut. He's cutting that looks it good. and he's uh, handing it out. They just gave Brett some. Brett, how is it? Is it good? A cop smile. Every time you talk shit in the chat, I'm just going to fucking show you this. Is this him? Is this Cinemarxism? Is that you, motherfucker? Huh? Answer. Almost two years. Fog. Keg W, I ate that too. Is that you? Every time you talk shit in the chat, I'm literally oh, going to fucking uh, go back to this.
Yeah, he hasn't been talking at all. Mr. Anarcho-Communism over here. Yeah, there you go. Every time. Is it good? All right, good. This is amazing. I'm going to try it now. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, Kai's got something out too. Oh, the ribs. I love the ribs. It's warm, just bubbling with grease. Shut the fuck up. I'm hot. Oh. Dog, what is that fit, bro? What you you like the you say shut the fuck up I'm hot what is this necessary. fit my man what what did you wear what is this fucking fit look at how dripped out the tribe is look at how dripless you are yo Bezos money <laughs> Renfair drip. <laughs> Answer for your drip crimes, dude. Baby. They just gave Brett some. Brett, how is it? Is it good? All right, good. This is amazing. I'm going to try it now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kai's got something out too. Oh, the ribs. How's my ribs. fit? It's warm, just bubbling. The masai are dope. Is there even salt here? What mm -hmm. the fuck? Why do I have so many chatters that have been to this fucking tribe, dude? I don't understand what's happening here. Like, what? How many of you motherfuckers went and hung out with the with the, with the tribe, dude? What, what's happening right now? There was a group on. I'm in Kenya on the fucking Serengeti, not trying to win fashion my awards. And I love watching you. Thanks for fashion is eternal, do. bitch. Oh. You have a white chat, Hassan? Yeah, I know I have a white chat. I, of course I have a white chat. <sighs> I lived in Freetown, Sierra Leone for years as well. Hmm? A lot of poverty tourists in here? Bro, this dude is a literally fucking a filmmaker. What do you... I mean, this is one of the most, like, apt, adequate, reasonable reasons to go and visit the Maasai people. It's not like he went there to be like, lol, fuck you guys, or ask them about what that, is a I woman. This channel for the food content smile. This dude, Sonny, is like actually, <laughs> people will be like documentarians, poverty tourism. I love, I love leftists who like, uh, who, who like weirdly fetishize third world people, like, and, and make it seem as though like documenting their existence in an under, in a, in a very like, uh, a careful and, and non invasive manner is actually just still poverty tourism. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that is how we do. Ah, sure. Yeah, you give and you give to another. Mm. It's very tender and juicy and fatty as well. Can you just see the fat dripping off it? This is really nice. Everyone gets a piece. No complaints, no quarrels. Are they really eating this every day? Yes. They're never like, oh, it's Tuesday. I want tacos. I'm uh -uh. sick of goat. Uh -uh. I feel really guilty if I don't like clean my bones. Let me show you. I'm so bad. <laughs> he gets everything off. Oh. <laughs> We like it to be like this. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> From this? God damn, dude. That's respect. Respect to the way he just cleaned that shit, dude. What the fuck? Yes, that is how you do it. In part two of this Maasai series, we go even I'm educating deeper. your Exploring dumbasses for free and y'all saying poverty and tourism. All they see in this is poverty. Yeah. Kind of crazy. The world. Oh. Oh my god. Fifteen mild brain rot. Love this. Huge thing thank you like to this. holiday destination safaris for putting this itinerary together for us. This was pretty wild. Clean that bone like they do in Tom and Jerry. I I just you know respect. Has lamb. Stop! 